Hi my friends, let's model the part number 83, control lever shaft from my collection of 100 parts. Its uh, picture is this one and it seems to be a complicated uh, object. The drawing shows more interesting elements. You can see here a sloped volume which has a lot of uh, interesting elements. For the beginning we take care of this too. This is one line, a sloped line at 7 degrees and 21 minutes and this is the normal axis which can be the X axis for instance and uh, there are two planes perpendicular on this axis uh, placed at distances of 29.6 and 51 this are the limits of this mid volume yes and when we take a look at this section AA we see that this is a cylindrical not equal radius 32 with radius 39.29 is not the same and not the same center but these faces are cylindrical uh, with axis on this plane if we imagine this plane so let's create these two planes at uh, mentioned distances and then a sloped one at this angle to uh, create this contour. Let's start we create uh, that lines in this plane XZ this is horizontal and I draw a line a sloped line at 7 degrees the length is arbitrary 100 tab but the angle is fixed 7 degrees and 21 minutes the center of the midpoint of the line is over the center point yes I don't project the x-axis because I need only the direction the, uh, this is enough for us one two points on the same horizontal and on the same horizontal with the center point yes this is at 29 point 29.6 and the other is at 51 from the other from the first one yes so plane this point and this perpendicular another one this point this perpendicular and the last one which is on this sloped line and perpendicular on the sloped line you see they are so two are the limits of the extrusion 
and the other is the plane where we draw that uh, closed contour for extrude sketch F7 and now this contour is with two arcs placed at 8 with their center centers but on uh, this vertical radius remember and uh, distance and then we consider this distance is 62 and 50 yes for the uh, uh, terminating lines okay let's draw the superior arc is uh, center on center point and the other one is in a, with the center on the same horizontal but because this is that plane unbearable plane this horizontal you see horizontal here is on the same vertical with this one we draw connection lines from the ends of these two arcs and then dimensions 8 between the centers 8 uh, a radius up is 39.29 and uh, the other the bottom one is 32 good now I project the vertical which is y but it is horizontal in this uh, conception to be so and then I drag a little this to create symmetry between these two lines referring to this axis okay dimensions are 62 to the bottom one and 50 to the upper one yes finish sketch extrude I select the first plane yes select plane this one and to this plane okay so between the uh, these two planes I have a perpendicular on the slope line a plan perpendicular which is extruded between these two planes this is the most important thing Next, we consider this cut, 31, which is uh, uh, in a plane perpendicular on the sloped line uh, in this plane. But I want to create another plane along this sloped line to apply this uh, two dimensions for constructing a circle to be extruded okay a new plane a plane perpendicular on this and containing the sloped line this is the plane I use it for a sketch 
F7 and I draw a circle with a radius of 50. This circle is placed now uh, the normal on the vertical with the center on the vertical of center point sixty good finished sketch and now extrusion symmetrical with cut symmetrical cut 31 okay you see this is the result the other elements are not useful for the moment so I make them not visible there is a fillet here of two yes let's apply this fillet with the default radius two millimeters and as you can see another uh, cut is created in the same plane like uh, before with uh, not an, a circle but two arcs and a tangent and the tangent is in the center point just in the center point because this is the axis we used yes yes what is this my friends what is this this is a slot a slot with the three the distance between the centers and 21.5 the radius let's create this slot in the previous plane this plane with a sketch f7 and we draw a slot distance of 3 a radius of 21.5 yes yes and then we place this midpoint you see this is an end this is an end and this is a midpoint this point to be just here finish sketch what is the distance the distance is uh, 31 minus 1.88 on the either sides yes 31 minus twice 1.88 extrude symmetrical cut 31 minus twice 1.88 okay now another radius of 2 to be applied as a fillet 2 is by default and all the three entities are now filleted good what else now we have to consider uh, this contour yes 42 degrees this 28 the other diameters of 40 and 46 of a, a revolving yes 
we create a revolt uh, with this axis revolving this with uh, not important external diameter here maybe we'll uh, uh, intersect this two and that volume revolved to be intersected not joined not cut but intersected with this first created let's apply what is the axis what is the plane this is the plane yes f7 here we construct that contour line from this point to this point then another to somewhere here other to the intersection that proposed intersection and the last to close the contour okay this is fixed good because this is the axis 28 angle 40 Two between this and this 42 then diameters to the left is a diameter of 40 and to the right is 46 finish catch now we create revolve this is what uh, happens and we create intersection between the two volumes yes this is the intersection this is the cut this is the join and this is intersection we use intersect okay and we have the core of the part okay very nice yes you are happy as I am I hope next is uh, next must be this hole with the counter bar at both ends I create and uh, uh, revolving with cut revolved volume remember dimensions 12 18 50 let's create this uh, construction the plane we use is not this one neither this one but this one yes because this is perpendicular on the sloped line. We draw a center line and some other lines. This will be a center line but for the moment let's place it uh, in relation with the center point the dimension is uh, missing let me place this dimension from this axis to the center of the circle 23.3 39 okay 23.39 and this is the axis let's make it as an axis 
Uh, then uh, the other dimensions, this diameter of uh, 12, the other of uh, 18, the dimensions are in the drawing. This must be collinear with that one. Uh, this is uh, 50. And uh, the horizontal between this and the center point. And also between this and the center point must be applied good and coincident this line with this end now we have a fully constrained sketch and we apply revolve as a cut okay and we obtain this uh, uh, counter bores yes both of them in the same time Okay, having this core, we continue with the shaft itself, which has a length of uh, 242, and this 16, and so on, three steps uh, to the right, and one, two, also three here, but other shape. Let's create them. The plane is uh, XY, our favorite plane. You see how uh, strange it seems to be. A line of 242 horizontal. 242 which is uh, as the center line and it contains the center point the left is 32 you see here 32 is this end and the other are uh, dimensioned from the ends of the line but we uh, must consider 32 from this side 32 from this side to have a scale here now we apply split to this line to have two uh, individual contours for revolving these are the three steps to the left here I uh, increased the speed uh, of the film to uh, save time. Okay, revolve one section is here and another is here. This is the axis and join, of course. Okay, 
Good. We continue by placing these uh, fillets 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, and 0 0.5. Yes. Radius of 1.5. Also here and also to the other end plus this which is 0 0.5. We apply thread here. The thread is uh, 24. 4.5 length metric 22 yes not all the length but only 24.5 thread this end measured from this 24.5 not ANSI but ISO 22 with the pitch of 3, right hand, 24.5, ok, good, another feature is this hole, which is uh, 60 degrees, not 90 degrees, with a diameter of 6 and a diameter of 11 and the depth of 11.5 where is it placed it is placed here and it must be countersink with a diameter of uh, 6 tab not all but a distance of uh, 11.5 tab 11 is the external and 60 degrees okay 11.5 6 11 60 degrees Okay, good. The other end has a similar hole but with other diameters. 10, 3, 9, 60. Let's turn the part and apply another hole on this face with this center and now three instead of six tab uh, ten the depth nine the diameter and sixty is maintained okay F6. Now some chamfers. Chamfers are uh, 0 0.5 at this end, 1.5, 1.5, 0.5. These are all. Let's apply them. 1.5. This is also 1.5, then plus 0 0.5, 0 0.5 here, and the, this and this, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, all three, one, two, three, okay. 
Good. Next is with these grooves, channels. As you can see, there is a dimension of uh, 13.2, but I am interested in the uh, this center, so I'll consider 13.2 uh, plus 0 0.3, yes, 60 degrees on the uh, diameter of 30, this diameter, because this is radius 15, 35 channels. Let's apply. We have to create a sketch on this face, yes, this face. which is this. I project also this diameter. And I make all of them as uh, construction. F7. And we have this three in uh, attention. But I start from here to have no problem with the uh, tangent okay now this is 0 0.3 0 0.3 the placement is as I said 13.2 plus 0 0.3 or plus this yes d80 okay if you change uh, that radius everything will be okay good extend this to here make them equal this with this place now the angle between them of 60 and then we draw an arc from this point to this point and having this point in the middle good finished sketch. The length of the channel is 28 and then there is a radius of 39.8. So extrude the other direction with cut of 28. 28. Okay, now this tiny surface has uh, an axis somewhere. The axis ends the same vertical with the ends of the arc. This is to be uh, center line and the distance where it's placed is 53 yes so I place 53 to the center point but not as a diameter but a distance yes 53 let's apply revolve we don't need uh, the other dimension cut okay this is the situation 35 grooves so I apply 
circular pattern for this two features references this for the axis and 35 is the number of grooves this is why I placed the uh, chamfer before because then I uh, need to uh, repeat for 35 times that uh, chamfer you imagine what means this the final feature to be placed is this hole we have dimensions here 20 from the face diameter of 5 and uh, the position is horizontal as I uh, think you see this is on horizontal okay let's create an axis and a point this is the way we create this we create a plane at 20 from this face with plus 20 then an axis at the intersection axis at the intersection of this plane with the horizontal and this is the axis yes this plane is no more necessary to be visible and then a point at the intersection of this axis with this cylinder good the hole is of five five means simple hole through this point this direction and five okay no axis no point f6 if you like the other presentation look at it and we apply steel alloy and uh, polished all over yes what are my properties one kilogram and six hundred seventy grams that's all for the moment excuse me mea culpa there is a small mistake with this sketch during the minute uh, 33 if you look back this uh, point was not placed on the vertical axis this one now we have uh, white contour and finished sketch that's all uh, the other elements are not changing at all including the eye properties thanks for watching bye bye